Hey friends, welcome back. Nice to have you here with us today. It is exciting for us here and maybe for you because it is only one week. Count it, one week. In fact, not even less than a week until Halloween now. Now, I don't know if you know this, but Halloween and our church, well, there's actually a connection between the two. Some of you might know a little bit about it. So here is a challenge I want to give you this week. Over the next week, if you can think of, if you can remember, or you can even go look it up if you want, or ask someone who might know, see if you can figure out the connection between Halloween and our church. You might find more than one. And if you do, come up with something. I'm going to have you email it to me, and we'll have a little prize for our winners. So we'll put that email up on the screen at the end of our children's liturgy today. Jonathan will be back to remind us about it at the end. But see if you can find that connection and then send me an email letting me know the connection between Halloween and our church. All right, we're going to get started in just a second here. We have our great friend Devin to share with us our, our opening prayer. But first, of course, we have our opening song. And I look forward to sharing that with you in just a second, friends. When someone gives you a helping hand How does it feel When someone takes the time to get to know you How does it feel the time for prayer, and I invite you all to pray along with me. Let's begin by making the sign of our faith. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. O oh God, we cannot see you, yet you call on us to love you, even as we know you love us. Make us understand that everybody, without exception, is precious to you, and that to love them is to love you. Let us not be bothered about what we like and do not like, but be awake to the needs of all people we meet, just as Jesus did, and now who is living with you forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. 
A reading from the book of Exodus. Our God says, When there are foreigners and strangers living among you, you must never do anything to hurt them. Remember that you used to be strangers in the country of Egypt. And don't do anything to hurt widows and orphans. If you do hurt them and they cry out to me, I will listen to them and I will help them. But I will punish you. When you lend money to people who are poor, don't make them pay back more than they owe you. And if you take their coat as a promise that they will pay you back, don't keep it overnight, because they will need it to keep warm. If they cry out to me, I will help them, for I love the poor and will take care of them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now, have you ever heard of something called the golden rule? You know, treat others the way you want to be treated. And this is what we call the golden rule, uh, meaning the rule of great value or worth, the, the rule that sets the standard for all other rules. And what we just heard in our reading sounds a lot like the golden rule. God is instructing us to care for those in need, mindful that we would want to be cared for in such situations as well, and also that God does care for those in need. So, take an example. Say that you have a new student in your class. How would you want to be treated if you were that new student? Would you like it if people ignored you and simply carried on with their friends? Would you not much prefer somebody to notice you, to speak with you, and, and offer for you to join in with them and, and their friends and the, whatever they're up in, the games and stuff, at recess or, or whatever's going on? Now, as we listen to our gospel later, we will hear Jesus speak more about this. And so, we have that, but first, we have our song, followed by our gospel acclamation, at which point we stand and get ready for our gospel. So, here we go. belonged to a group called the Pharisees, asked Jesus this question. Teacher, what is the greatest commandment in the law? Jesus said, you must love God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and most important commandment. After the second one is like, you must love your neighbor just as you love yourself. The Gospel of the Lord.
Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, thank you, Devin, for sharing the gospel with us. It's a really important gospel today, isn't it? We hear some interesting things in here. We hear two most important commandments. The first one, to love God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind. In other words, love God with everything you have. And then there's a second commandment. Love your neighbor just as you love yourself. Now, I'm willing to guess that there are lots of people that you might say you love. You probably love your parents. You probably love your brothers and sisters. Although sometimes that might be hard, right? Sometimes we have a hard time loving them. But we do. We love our brothers and sisters. We might love aunts or uncles or grandparents. We might even have some friends or teachers that we love. Right? There's lots of people that we love in our lives. And we show that love to people in a lot of different ways. At home, we might help with chores. We might try to cheer someone up when they're sad. We might call or visit someone when they're lonely, right? Can't do as much visiting now as we, we did before, but we can always call them. At school, we might help by, you know, helping the teacher pass out some work at school or, or ask them if there's something we can do to help out in our classroom, right? Lots of different ways that we show that love. Well, hopefully, like Jesus has said here, we love God too, right? And we show our love to God in a lot of different ways, but maybe in somewhat different ways than we show love to our friends or family. We might show God our love through, well, prayer, right? We talk to God through prayer. That's one way we show him we love him. We might come to Mass, or if we can't come to Mass, we might watch the live stream, right? That's one way we show our love for God. But there's other ways too, by being happy and sharing our happiness with others, by maybe thanking God for the things that he gives to us, right? And, and not just thanking God for our gifts, but using them well, right? Sometimes we have gifts from God and we don't use them the way that God would want us to use them. But by using them the way God would want, it's a way that we show God we love him. Another thing is we respect the things that God makes, right? That might be other people, that might be animals, that might be the world around us, and we treat them well. That's one way we show God. Now, in the gospel, Jesus talks about loving our neighbor. We hear a little bit about that, but we don't hear another important part. We don't hear who our neighbor is. Now, the first reading helped us understand that a little bit. We heard a little bit about who our neighbor might be in there. Jesus tells us elsewhere in the gospels that our neighbor is, well, it's anyone. It's all people, anyone in the world. Doesn't matter where they are, doesn't matter what they look like, doesn't matter how different that they are than us. Any person in the world is our neighbor. And so when we think about it, anyone whose life we impact, whether in a good way or a bad way, is our neighbor. And Jesus is telling us in this gospel reading to love our neighbor as ourself, to treat them how we would want to be treated, to show our love for all people we meet and even those we don't when we have that chance. So I want you to think, what's something that you can do for a neighbor this week? Well, thanks for joining us for another week here at the Children's Liturgy of the Word. Uh, we're so glad that you're able to join us this week and hope to see you next week. Oh, wait, before you go and before we get to our closing song, didn't Andrew give us a challenge at the beginning? All right. Um, what's the connection between Halloween and our church. And our email uh, that you to send it to um, is up here. And so if you know that connection, um, or if you find it out during this week, send us that connection. And as Andrew said, there's a prize. So here's a closing song. Hope to see you, hope to see you next week.